Hi everyone, Richie here in my very flat and square room. With the advent of flexible display technology, we now have curved televisions coming out and the subject of today's segment, curved smartphones. Now today we're gonna to look at the two most prominent examples being the LG Flex and the Samsung Round. We'll compare the two and I'll tell you why I like the idea of curved smartphones and it's probably not for the reason you think. Let's check it out. Now, aside from specs, the real factor that brings these two phones head to head is the execution of the curved aspect of each smartphone. The Samsung Round is curved side to side, while the LG Flex has its arc from top to bottom. So which one makes more sense? Well, the Samsung's phone has its curve along the vertical axis, and I'm guessing it will also feel quite good in one's palm, just like this uh, empty roll of toilet paper. And that curve should help with the thumb moving across the entire display of what is a repurposed Galaxy Note 3 screen with less finger stretching, but all the real estate. Then there is the pocket factor. Thighs are vertically convex. I never thought I'd be saying that sentence in a tech video, to be honest. That being so, placing the round in the pocket may be more comfortable than any flat phone ever was. LG have taken the curved concept and done a 90 degree turn by providing a more effective talking position with the flex, reducing the proximity of the mic to the mouth, kind of like a banana. That does make sense and could make for a better phone call experience, but the pocket factor I just mentioned, is that an LG flex in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Now video playback on the LG Flex would probably be a better experience than its competition, as it replicates the design of the landscape-oriented curved OLED TVs that are starting to be seen in the marketplace. The Galaxy Round seems to be way more suited to portrait-style applications and one-handed use. So let's finish off with the monster in the room. Who cares? What's the point of a curved screen? Well, for me, I can see two things, one practical and the other more aesthetic. First, I hate putting screen protectors on my smartphones. To me, they ruin the clarity of the screen and I always seem to get bubbles no matter how steady my hands are. However, with a curved smartphone, I can confidently place my phone down knowing there is a fair amount of space between the screen and whatever surface I've placed it on. That way I'm avoiding crumbs, sand, liquid, whatever. And as someone who doesn't use screen protectors, screen gunk, is one of my main gripes, and this would by its nature solve it to some extent. The second part is about the art and attraction of symmetry. Now take this bowl that I own, I place it on the table right side up and look at that. Perfect balance, it's enough to zen you out. Now that bowl is not really practical to eat out of, but I wasn't thinking about that when I bought it. I'm sure that for some, the personal enjoyment of having a curved smartphone in the hand or on a flat surface will elicit that same emotional and perhaps irrational giddiness. No doubt there will be a premium for the concave character of these gadgets, but ultimately you and I, through our purchasing decisions, will determine where this category heads. And you know what, maybe that's the point of these new releases, to monitor how potential buyers react, to see what killer apps get written by developers, all with a long-term vision of a fully flexible, wearable device. It's definitely an incremental evolution. So if these curvaceous curiosities do get released outside of Korea into your region, would you buy one? Or are you waiting for the killer app to justify the expense? Or is this whole exercise a waste of time in your opinion? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are now that curved hardware is getting out there. Feel free to have your say in the commentary below. Please share this video if you liked it. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time.